Today, I wanted to show something in our webinar that is probably the app that I use the most to show people how they can integrate um, IDX Broker in a fast, easy way with uh, their high-level site. And basically, it's I'll show you to get here. You just go to idxaddons.com and you can log in there. If you're one of our IDX Broker clients, it's completely free. If you're not using IDX Broker with Realty Candy, there's a way to sign up right there and, and get the free version is what you want to do. And, um, and you'll have access to this. And this is, it's the one click community page. So it's right down here. And uh, let me just click on this. Basically the idea behind the one click community is that as a real estate agent, we need to be able to show properties in our community and our cities that we service. And we need a fast way to build these, uh, these pages with good content and with properties for people to look at. And um, we I actually have a, a friend of mine who's one of our competitors. She was telling me that she had a client that had something crazy like, I want to say it was like 10,000 or 15,000 of these community pages built. Um, you know, for subdivisions and cities and towns and school districts and all these things. And and her client ranked really high, had a lot of Google juice because over the years, people would look at all these pages and they had links to them, you know, so search by school district and it had every single school district or search by subdivisions in this part of town and it had every subdivision and things like that. And people would do all these searches and click on all these pages. And Google saw that activity on these saved pages and Google gave them a lot of credit. And she said that they got, they did a lot of business um, just from having that all set up. So we've tried to make a system here that makes it really easy for you to, to have these, um, these pages on your website. And I'm gonna just be moving this Zoom thing around a little bit here um, so we can see what we're doing. So basically I've gone here to IDX add-ons and I clicked on the one click community. And I just wanna show you real quickly a couple things here. One is on mine, it has the Yelp business widget here. If this, if you don't have an API key for Yelp business, this will be red and there'll be a link here that you can click on and it takes you to Yelp and you can just use your Google account or excuse me, an Apple account or probably any email account. And Yelp will give you a trial I think they charge $7 for a thousand API calls um, and they give you a free trial. And if, I don't know how they figure out when your free trial's over, I don't know all the math on that, but what I would suggest is you sign up for a free trial. If people are looking at these pages, even if you have to spend a thousand or $7 for every thousand views, um, I think that's pretty inexpensive. Um, you know, people spend seven bucks on a lot crazier things than you know, a thousand page views on their website. So we're going to do this is on a demo account. So this, this might be a little crazy, but you can pick subdivisions, you can pick cities, you can pick counties. And for our demo today, I'm going to pick a city and we have all these, these demo cities. I think most of the Miami ones have already been chosen. So I'm going to pick Pinecrest. Then I can put the community name here. So I'm using the city of, of Pinecrest and coincidentally, I'm going to use the same name, Pinecrest. And, and it's going to use this word Pinecrest actually in the chat GPT data. So I have that activated and we go out to chat GPT and use artificial intelligence to gather some really good real estate centric um, information about Pinecrest, Florida. And then we're going to display a Yelp page. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to do on this, I was doing this when I was kind of testing it, is I'm going to do is turn on my stopwatch here so I can see how long it takes for this one to uh, to uh, create. So let's hit start on my stopwatch, then I'm gonna hit create. And so it's checking, it's making a save link, it's adding all the scripts and the codes and stuff. And this is, you know, just, it's probably slower on my computer since we're doing uh, a Zoom meeting at the same time. There, it's done. So that looks like it took about 20 seconds there. Let's see, stop. So it took about 20 seconds. 
So you're able to make one of these pages at 20 seconds. Well, what does it look like? So it looks like this, and looks like I put a space after Pinecrest, and so it gave me that minus sign there. If I click on here, this is what it looks like. It's going to show me the most popular listing on my on my IDX feed for Pinecrest. This one's been viewed 228 times. The most expensive home on Pinecrest, I can see this has been seen twice or 17 times, and the least expensive has been seen twice. This shows all the properties um, here. It looks like there's 77 properties in Pinecrest. I have a little map of them right here. If I want, I can click on one of these and get a little information about it. Um, what the average price is according to our demo data and the average square foot and the price per square foot and all that stuff. I can actually even zoom in here if I wanted to see some of these. Um, and then we have the Yelp uh, section here where we can look at food and parks and different stuff here uh, that comes from Yelp. And then here's the data nestled in the heart of Dade County, Pinecrest, you know, is highly sought after community. And then we start seeing Pinecrest offers, you know, real estate options, single family homes, condos, estates, um, you know, home, every home buyer. So the real estate market is known for its stability and resilience, high demand properties, neighborhoods, villas, properties, architectural styles, real estate resource in Pinecrest, our experienced agents, committed property, neighborhoods, market trends, real estate market, real estate goals. So these are all words that, you know, kind of came up in the, from chat GPT. Then as you scroll down the page, um, these properties are loaded in here and these will be styled to match the rest of your IDX feed. So if you're using a different template for this, yours are going to look like your template. They're not going to look like this one. So the next thing is uh, once I have this put together, I've, I've created that page. Now what I can do is I can actually, I'm going to copy that URL and I'm going to come over here to high level and, you know, let me, Kind of close this real quick. Let's go back. So inside of high level, I've got some websites here. And on my home page, I'm going to edit my home page. So maybe I have there's this would probably be some sort of a global header section right here. But I'm going to click on this where it says our areas, and there's a little map, and I'm going to put here. And so we're going to add this new thing, Pinecrest. And I'm going to go to the website URL. And here's the URL. Here's that one. Do I want to open it in a new tab? Yes, no. In this case, I'm not going to. So I submit that. And I can see that it put it over here next to our areas. I actually want it to be under Miami here. Let's see if I can. There we go. Slide that over a little bit. So now it disappeared here. And you can see it's on the menu. Perfect. That's what I want. I'm going to save that. Now, uh, let's see if I want to preview that. I click this. Come over here to our areas, Pinecrest. And it's hooked up. Of course, this is branded to another website. In real life, it wouldn't be able to be branded to this, this site right here. But, it, you know, so now all my users can see this. And if I want to come back and make another uh, community page, all I do is come back here. I'm going to reload this page and I'll pick another, you know, we'll just say Surfside and I'm not going to put a space at the end of that, create that guy. We've already done it once. So we know the whole drill. It's making the links, putting in all the scripts, doing all the stuff. This is actually a great activity, like when your in-laws come over to visit and they're talking to you, you bring your computer out and you smile a lot while you copy this and do this stuff. And uh, we will copy link address and I'll just come over here and add another item. Surfside. Or to be honest with you, I, we actually have some clients that said, my husband and I watch TV in the evenings, one lady told me. And she says, well, while we're kind of watching TV, um, I, I work on my website. 
Yeah, it's great. But everybody's happy with it. So we'll come back over here. Let's reload this page. And right here, here's Surfside. And again, we're pulling up all this, you know, data about Surfside and, you know, our real estate company name. We pride ourselves on this and we do all this stuff. And these can actually be edited if you want to change this. Inside of IDX Broker, there's a custom subheader and we can show you where to edit that if you want to. If you want to remove some of this later or switch it around, that we can show you where you can edit all this stuff. But this creates these really fast, really easy, and you can hook up a whole bunch of these to your website. Um, if I were thinking about this page, you know, I might have another landing page where people can go search for a whole bunch of communities. I'll show you an example of a client that I think did a great job with this. Oh, looks like they're working on their website right now. So we picked a bad time to do it. So that was one. Let's see. Um, there's another one. Mary listens. So Mary's got all these community pages here on her site. So if you want to go look in Burbank, for example, this is in Burbank, Illinois, by the way. She has, you know, all this information. She's showing properties here and people can just search and, and find properties in, in Burbank, Illinois. And so it helps her uh, have these all set up for her clients. And you could make a you can make a community page where that just has like she has here, something like this. And uh, you know, put it on any page on your site or put a picture of each image or something like that. So that's pretty much the one-click communities and they tie into high level. Uh, you can put on a high level website, a Wix website, WordPress, Squarespace, anything you want. They work out really good. Mm -hmm.